Hey there, it's Chuck with RoadDeckBuilder.com and MTG The Journey, and we are here with our uh, eighth uh, Born of the Gods draft, or Theros block draft, uh, and we do have a few things here that we're going to look at. Um, hmm. It does look pretty decent. Uh, Archetype of Imagination also looks decent. Uh, Nullify looks pretty good here. Akron Conscriptor. Whenever we cast a spell that targets it, we can gain control of another target creature until end of turn, untap that creature. And we have Fall of the Hammer here. So there's a quite a few good choices. Um, Archetype seems good. And Nullify seems really good. Siren Song Liar is not all that great, and this doesn't seem fantastic to me. Right now I'm at a toss-up between Nullify and Archetype, but Akron Prescriptor is pretty good here too, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pick Nullify first here, which, again, I'm trying to work outside of my wheelhouse here. Spirit of the Labyrinth is pretty decent here. Um... Sanguimancy is pretty good as it's some card draw. We do have Divination here and Chorus of the Tides, but I think Sanguimancy is worth picking here, and Spirit is just... It's a 3-1 for 2, though. So that might even just be worth picking here. But let's look at our other options here. We do have Servant, which is in a, a second round pick here. Archetype is not bad either. Um, but Sanguimancy is pretty good looking as well, but if we don't move into black, I think Spirit here is just the pick. I think we just go with Spirit here and see what else we come into. And really, this this time around, I'm just going to try to pick the best cards right off the bat. Loyal Pegasus is pretty decent. Seder Fire Dancer, I'm not interested at all. Grave Robber Spider is actually pretty good. And... I think Grave Robber Spider is what we pick here. We're just going to keep ourselves wide open here. And really, for for Born of the Gods pack here, I'm just going to try to pick the best card in the pack each time and just see. And Crypsis seems decent. But Glimpse the Sun God can be pretty good as well. An Acro and Phalanx might be pretty decent. Human Soldier. But Glimpse the Sun God might be worth picking up here. So I think we will pick up Glimpse. That can allow us to get through for a lot. And Gorgon's Head is not very appealing here. We do have an Afar's Radiant, or Excoriate, actually, I think is going to get my pick here. I think this is going to be pretty good, as it is removal. I do like Excoriate a lot. Mortal's Resolve is pretty good, but I think we'll see more of those, perhaps. The plus one, plus one, and Indestructible is really nice. And we also have this uh, Sphinx's Disciple here. But I really think Excoria is going to be my pick here. And we have the Sanguimancy which wield. Or maybe this is just another Sanguimancy. And weight looks kind of cool here, but Mortal's Resolve I think is what we'll pick up. I think, yeah, I think we pick up the Mortal's Resolve here. And I don't know if that's the best pick we can get out of this. Nessie and Demolock seems pretty good here. So I think we will pick up Nessie and Demolock. Aspect of Hydra is going to be our pick here. Uh, we can discuss some other stuff here. Satess and Tar Starbreaker isn't bad. Uh, you can destroy a target aura when it enters the field, but I think we'll see another one of these before it time's up. 
And Weight of the Underworld is good, but at this point, we're not looking very black, but this might be a decent pick. But Aspect is also a really good card. So, if we do end up into Heavy Green, which it looks like we might, Aspect is going to be a really good card for us here. And a white green deck wouldn't be terrible, or a white blue, or a green blue deck wouldn't be bad either with splashing white. And it just depends on how much fixing we get here. And this is card draw, and we can add mana fixing. So I feel like we'll go with this route here. And when we have Stratus Walk here, we can give a creature flying, but it can only block creatures with flying. So, which of these is better, mana fixing or flying? I feel like we go with the mana fixing. Because both of them draw us a card, but the mana fixing seems like it might be pretty decent. And here, we have Ardor, Sun Guide, and Archetype of Cur Endurance. And it gives our creatures hexproof. So, do we pick this up? I think we do. And so we have seen quite a few of those, and I think here we'll just go with the Evanescent Intellect. And just see what we get here. Culling Mark is not fantastic. So I think we'll just take War Chanter here and just uh, get it out of the way. We'll hide that and we'll pick up this Gorgon's head just in case it comes in handy later. We'll get another intellect here whether we use it or we don't. So again I'm trying to just be as open as I possibly can here to picking the best cards. And this we get kind of a crap pack for what we've gone for. But I guess we pick up Divine Verdict or Observant Alciad here. And I think Divine Verdict is going to get my pick. As a lot of these things are a lot outside of our wheelhouse at this point. But maybe we're just not too far out of it. Maybe we do just pick this Aberrant Overlord. Hmm. See, I don't want to get stuck here. But are we really that deep into any of these colors at this point? I really feel like Divine Verdict is a pretty good card, though. So I think we will just pick up that. And maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe if I'm if I'm wrong there, tell me why. Maybe it's just because I I see this coming together really well here, and I kind of like where it's headed. We have Mist Hydra here, which I think is great, but we also have Nessian Asp and Feral Invocation and Opalid Unicorn. We have Gainsay. We have Nimbus Naiad and Fate Foretold, but Mist Cutter Hydra seems really good here so I think we will pick it up as it is in our colors here and staunch hearted seems really good here and so does scholar but I think we pick up this chronicler right now But maybe Staunch Heart is better. But a 3 3 for 3 is pretty good at this point. And Fleece Main Lion is definitely coming in here. This is just perfect. I love Fleece Main Lion here. And we get another staunch hearted here, but we also can pick up Agent of Horizons. Can't be blocked if we've decided we're going to go ahead and play blue. 
We have Gardens of Miletus, which is a defender, 0 6, and we have Battle Wise Valor. But I really think we need the creature. And is Agent of Horizons better than Staunch Hearted Warrior? I think it might be at this point if we decide to splash blue. And Phalanx Leader seems really good here as well. But Leaf Crown Dryad is a really good pick, and so is Last Breath. And even Chosen by Heliod isn't bad here. But I think Phalanx Leader is a good target, so we will pick that up. And here, Satessin Battle Priest isn't bad. We can tap a target creature when the Snare Caster comes in. So I think maybe the Leon and Snare Caster is our best pick here. And we have a Sentry, a Seder Hedonist, a Leon and Snare Caster, or a Forest Warden. And here, this is kind of a tough pick. I want to say we go with the Warden. I want to say that's the better pick here, but is Sentry a decent pick if we decide not to splash blue? We could splash a little bit of black for Sentry here and have a Flying Vigilance regen. So I think we will pick that up just in case we don't get enough blue here to decide to do that. And at that point, if we splash black... Do we want Cavern Lamp Pad for the Bestow and Intimidate, or do we just want to pick up this Artisan Sorrow for the Destroy Artifact or Enchantment? I feel like we'll pick up this Lamp Pad just to see what we end up with here. As we still are pretty wide open here is what we want to do. And if we go ahead and hide like this, it's what we look like. And we will pick up this gain, say, here. Or maybe no. Battle-wise, Valor seems pretty good. But again, if we end up in blue, gain, say, is going to be really nice. But as we're pretty solid white, I'd say Battle-wise, Valor is... I think we're just out of blue at this point. Maybe we just have too much going on here to try to pass up on this. And we do have a couple of decent removal spells here. And maybe we will maybe we will end up splashing the blue in just because, but I don't really know, and staunch hearted is going to be our pick here. We definitely need some creatures, and this is one that we can target with a few things. So we're at twenty right now, and we have thirteen creatures, so we definitely do need to pick up some more creatures here. But we'll see what we come into here just to see what else we can do. If we manage to draw into some better stuff here. And we'll pick up the Glare of Heresy here. which is going to be sideward. Only coming in if we play a white deck. We will pick up Tass's Bounty. As once again, we do have some decent blue if we do need to splash blue. And Agent of the Horizons is another good reason to splash blue. Prowler's Home 
is fine. And so far we're seeming fairly aggressive. Because this is really any drop and that is as well as much as we want to sink into them. And again, like I said, I might be making some decent, I might be making some mistakes here. So in the comments, feel free to leave what you would have done at what point rather than what I've done. I'm always interested in hearing that. And apparently show all instead of hide. So sorry about that. As I'm trying to just get rid of stuff here again after I decided to look at all of them again. As some of these cards have a lot of merit and other of them just don't seem all that great and temple is fine as it allows for scrying what else do we have here that's worth playing or picking over that decorated griffin is a flyer we also have this opal and unicorn as a fixer But do we just pick this up for the scry? I don't know that we do. I think we take decorated griffin here. But what does this do? If I control an enchantment, I gain three life. And Ray of Disillusion does the same thing. We have another Leon and Snarecaster. We have a Feral Invocation, but I think we take the Decorated Griffin here. I think that seems fine. And here, Savage Surge seems really good. We have another Agent of Horizons. We have a Karametra's Acolyte, which is a Ramper, and it's a big body too. And we do have a lot of green going. So maybe we pick this up. But I feel like Savage Surge is fine. And Cavalry Pegasus seems really good too. And maybe we go with Cavalry Pegasus here. Maybe that's the what to do here. I don't know. This is a hard one for me. I feel like I want to go with the Karametras. And Savage Surge seems really good too. As this is a combat trick. So I think I'm going to go with Savage Surge here. And here. Wow. I guess I pick up the Cavalry Pegasus again. But we have card draw through Warrior's Lesson as well. And maybe we just get Last Breath here as for some removal. But Warrior's Lesson seems really good. And we can target two creatures with this. But maybe I do just need the Flyer. Hmm. I think I'll go with the Cavalry Pegasus on that one. And Nessie and Corsair is going to be my pick here. This is great. I really like this card in this scenario here. And maybe here the Leonin Snarecaster takes the, takes the hide. And Farika's Mender is also really good. But Nessie and Asp is going to be my pick here. As that gives us some decent defense.
And I think Scholar here is fine. I think we will pick up one Scholar. And at this point, I think the Agent is going to take the cut. And maybe even this Cavern Lampad. But that might be decent since we're so far into black. We've got some decent black here. We need black for this, and we need black for this. So that's really only three things that we're splashing black for. Um, it does target, but this targets and this targets, and both are better than this. So I feel like we hide this here. So we have plenty of targets, we have 16 creatures, so for at this point we're just looking for better things to fill this out. And we do have some nifty combat tricks in here. And a lot of these things gain from uh, being targeted, like the staunch hearted warrior is fine for being targeted. Um, and I'm not so sure that... Uh, like this phalanx leader is another thing that does great for being targeted. Um, I mean, here maybe we just take this amble raptor. But here, we, this is more mana fixing, and I think this is actually better than the Karametra's favor here. As it makes us tap a creature. And the Nylea's Presence actually nets us a card, and an Enchanted Land is every basic land in addition to, so I feel like the Nylea's Presence is better than, and Ordeal of Nylea is good, but Hopeful Eidolon is better. So I think we picked that for sure. And I don't know what I would take out instead of that. Maybe this Cavalry Pegasus. And here I'm just going to pick up this Opal Unicorn for the mana fixing. And I think for that I might get rid of this lamp pad, but maybe Decorated Griffin isn't what we want to go with here. And here we'll pick Last Breath, and we'll go ahead and sideboard it. And we'll pick up a Nylea's Presence and hide it. Or maybe we don't hide it right now. Battle Priest is fine. Viper's Kiss can be a decent sideboard if we splash here. Defend the Hearth is terrible, but it's fine. So, I think we ended up pretty decent here. Again, I'm trying to stay away from my wheelhouse here. Green and white seemed pretty open here. With a little bit of black splash, but I usually go really heavy into uh, black so these are all really good here I don't know that any of these are really great but decorated griffin I really like so that for white looks like what I would pick here. Again, the cavern lamp head I really like for black. 
I do really like the opaline unicorn for the fixing if we do go black here. Fleece main lion and chronicler seems really good, but this is gonna be a big maybe card. Sentry is fine if we go black here. Miscutter Hydra is perfect. The archetype seems like a good top end. Demo Lock is great. Asp is fine. Staunch Hearted Warrior fits well. Grey Browder Spider fits well. Nessie and Corsair fits well. Uh, the Savage Surge we want to target with. Moveable's Resolve is fine. We want one Nihilus Presence for some fixing and an Aspect of Hydra here. And that makes 22 cards. And I think the Chronicler does make the 23rd card here. As that gives us 16 creatures. And it's it's either Chronicler or Glimpse the Sun God. And tap X target creatures is an instant. And that seems really good as well. So maybe we would rather have this than the Chronicler. As it seems like we have a pretty rounded out casting cost here. As we have a Hopeful Eidolon turn 1 and turn 2 we have 3 2 casting and 3 3 casting and then most of our stuff is 4 casting and maybe Decorated Griffin does come out here and we come in with the Chronicler just for a little bit lower casting cost and then bring in this Glint of Sun God. Maybe that's what we do. And I think that gives us plenty of targets and everything here. So let's look at that is what we're looking at here. It seems pretty good and we'll go ahead and see what they want to do for land here. It says two swamps, six plains, and nine forests and I would be inclined to agree with that. That seems pretty good. Especially with the fixing that we have. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we will go ahead and submit this deck and see how it does. So I hope you guys like this one a little bit better and I hope I was a little bit more fair in picking cards and you can yell and scream at me here for how bad this was but I feel like I, I objectively picked things this time. So let me know what you think and uh, be glad to hear what you would have done differently. But this has been Chuck with RealDickButter.com and we look forward to seeing you in game one.